Have you ever wondered if your Shih Tzu is trying to tell you that they are sorry? They might be trying to get that message across, but are you picking it up? Either way. The question is, how do dogs say sorry? That's why in this video we will share 15 signs your Shih Tzu is trying to say sorry. Number 1 Licking Some Shih Tzu say sorry by nuzzling into your neck and licking you. Generally, they are trying to give you as much attention as possible until you give in, forgive them. Number 2 Their tail stops wagging This is a quick way for your Shih Tzu to show you they are feeling sorry. I know that with my Shih Tzu wags his tail whenever I come near him. He is always a happy, tail-wagging little dog. So, if the wagging stops, there is a reason for it. Number three, their eyes will look wider. Shih Tzus have such big eyes to begin with, so it might be difficult to notice that their eyes are even wider than normal. This behavior will be more noticeable in other dog breeds. But if your canine companions are showing you wider eyes, they are letting you know they feel bad about something. Number four, their ears droop. Drooping ears is one of the more common apology behaviors a dog has. Most of the time, your dog's ears are perky and on alert. If you see that they are starting to droop, then you know they are sorry for their action or at least are sorry that you're unhappy. While Shih Tzus do have a range of emotions, their actual emotions or reasons for their behavior typically are a reaction to your emotions. Number 5. Whimpering Depending on the amount of trouble caused or damage done, your Shih Tzu may express guilt for its wrongdoing. They may feel so guilty that a whimper of worry will come. If your dog begins to feel guilty about their wrongdoing, they could rub against your legs while getting into your space and letting out a whimper. Number 6. Displaying a sad expression Shih Tzu are incredibly perceptive to human emotions. When they sense that their owners are upset or disappointed, they may adopt a sad facial expression with droopy ears and a mournful gaze. This expression is a way for them to express their regret and apologize. Number 7. Behaving better Shih Tzu can learn from their mistakes and modify their behavior to avoid repeating them. If a dog recognizes that a particular action upset their owner, they may make a conscious effort to avoid that behavior in the future. This improvement in behavior is a way for dogs to demonstrate their remorse and commitment to being the good companion. Number 8. Rolling over Rolling over onto their back is a submissive behavior that some dogs display when they want to apologize. It is a vulnerable position, demonstrating their desire to make amends and restore trust. Number 9. Whining or Soft Barking Whining or emitting soft barks can be a dog's way of saying sorry. These vocalizations convey their distress and remorse, seeking forgiveness and a return to a harmonious relationship. Whining or soft barking is an expression of their emotional state, signaling their regret and their wish to communicate their remorse to their human companion. Number 10. Bringing Toys or Gifts in an effort to apologize, Shih Tzu might fetch their favorite toy or bring a cherished item to their owner. This behavior represents their desire to please and make amends by offering something special. Dogs often associate their toys with joy and playfulness, so presenting a toy or gift signifies their attempt to re-establish a positive connection and restore the bond of companionship. Number 11. Snuggling or Cuddling Dogs often seek physical closeness when they want to apologize. They may cuddle up next to their human, seeking comfort and forgiveness through warm and affectionate contact. Number 12. Paw Offering Presenting a paw to their human is another way dogs express remorse. By lifting a paw and offering it, they are demonstrating vulnerability and an eagerness to make amends. This gesture is akin to extending a hand in apology. Dogs use their paws to reach out and bridge the gap, signaling their sincere intentions to rebuild trust and repair the bond with their human companion. Number 13. Offering belly for rubs. Presenting their belly for rubs is another way dogs express remorse. By exposing their most vulnerable area, they are indicating their submission and remorseful intentions. Dogs may roll onto their backs, showing their bellies, as a gesture of vulnerability and an invitation for physical contact. Rubbing their belly can help alleviate any tension and facilitate forgiveness. Number 14. Play Bow 
a dog that assumes a play bow position, with their front end lowered and their rear end up, may be signaling an apology. This stance indicates an invitation to play, seeking to reconnect and restore a positive atmosphere. By initiating play behavior, dogs show their willingness to engage in a joyful interaction, hoping to restore a sense of happiness and harmony. Number 15 sit on you and rub their face on yours. When all else fails, don't be surprised if your shih tzu jumps on your lap and starts cuddling up to you and running their face on your neck. This is kind of the ultimate, I'm sorry, appeasement behavior. They love you and they need to know that you love them just as much. So go ahead and give them a good cuddle and petting session. They will know that all is well in their little world. Keep in mind that when your shih tzu is saying it is sorry, it is actually reacting to how you are reacting and your body language. The signs they show to say sorry are actually showing a submissive posture and not saying they are sorry for bad behavior, although some pet parents will disagree. Either way, it can be pretty cute and give you a good reason to cuddle with your little bundle of joy. Many people ask about, how can I tell if my shih tzu is happy and loves me? So, here is some signs you should know. Your shih tzu sticks their tongue out. Whilst there is a condition called hanging tongue which can result from neurological and structural defects, a little tongue poking out can signal happiness. You might notice it when your shih tzu is asleep. The tongue poking out means that are completely relaxed and in a happy state. The next time your shih tzu's tongue stick out, it could be a sign they are totally relaxed, content and happy with life. Your shih tzu follows you like a shadow. When you have earned the trust of your shih tzu, you'll soon notice that they follow everywhere, from room to room, and even if you shift on the couch. As I mentioned earlier, shih tzus can suffer with separation anxiety, so keeping close and following you around makes them feel secure. Shih tzus love to follow their owners. It's one way for a shih tzu to show it loves you. Your shih tzu will want to jump up on you. I know we're meant to train our dogs not to jump up, but it's still one way in which your shih tzu shows how affectionate they are to you. Whilst jumping up can be an adorable trait with a shih tzu puppy, as they get older it can be problem behavior you should not really encourage. She wants to get as close to you as possible. If your shih tzu leans on you or presses up against you so much you're convinced she's trying to get inside of you, it's just because she absolutely loves you and wants to be as close to you as possible. Luckily for you, your shih tzu isn't a great dane. Think of how often you would fall over every time she wanted to show her affection.